And as New York City begins to reopen slowly today, all eyes are on a possible vaccine. And two of the most prominent drug makers in the race for that vaccine, AstraZeneca and Gilead Sciences, have reportedly been in talks about a possible merger. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani has more on this. So Anjali, important to say these are not formal talks right now between these two companies, but what do we know? That's correct, Alexis. So what we do know is that Bloomberg reported that uh, AstraZeneca did, which is in the vaccine race um, with Oxford University's vaccine production, um, reached out to Gilead, which is working on a treat or has emergency use for treatment uh, for the coronavirus. And so uh, what, well, that's all we know right now is that there was an approach and that uh, Gilead seems to be uninterested. Now, the few details we do have is that this came about a month ago. And so that was around the time that Gil uh, Gilead did have, you know, the results of their remdesivir. That all happened last month. So if it fell at a time where Gilead was really on the up and up, that's one of the reasons why a lot of analysts are, are questioning, you know, that approach um, where mergers we've often seen is sometimes done uh, when, you know, a company is uh, undergoing long-term distress or, or just have some sort of issues. Um, this is a quite the opposite where we're seeing a very uh, strong Gilead stock right now. Um, and so that is the level of detail that we have. There have been no comments, um, you know, about it just yet. It, let's say these two companies do make a formal uh, agreement. Um, would this raise the red flag with regulators? Uh, you know, what would this mean for, for the greater healthcare sector, Anjali? That is something that uh, remains a question as well as what is the strategic approach. Um, what we do know is that it would represent the largest uh, pharma deal yet. Um, the largest before was uh, Celgene and Bristol Myers Squibb. Uh, right now we have Gilead at around uh, ninety-six billion dollars market cap and AstraZeneca at one hundred and forty billion. So in combined total, that two hundred forty almost uh, would be the largest. Um, and there are questions about uh, you know whether or not there would be political and regulatory pushback from both the U.S. and the U.K. Where Gilead is a U.S.-based company in AstraZeneca in the U.K. All right, Anjali Kamlani, thank you.